Day trading recap for August 20th, 2019. Uh, it's almost noon, a couple minutes to noon. Um, and I had one trade that started out in the pre-market, just barely in the pre-market, and only lasted, it lasted less than six minutes for me, but um, basically made my day. So that's what day trading can do. If you, if you put in the, the work early, uh, you can find stocks that will move enough for you to just get in and get out quick, quick scalp, and make enough money to finish your day. And I mean, that's the great thing about day trading. It could last, like I said, six minutes. And the amount of work I put in for um, researching it in the pre-market was probably about 30 minutes. And in less than an hour, I've, I've made made my money for the day. So that's that's what day trading can do. But, you know, it takes some work. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of um, just looking at charts and, and um, basically getting accustomed to how day trading works. So to get right into it, iBio showed up in the pre-market and it was a it was one of my pre-markets that show in my pre-market actives under five dollars this is a trade ideas trade um a scanner that i put together basically looks for stocks under five dollars that are moving in the pre-market and you can see ibio is at the top of the list and uh popped up and so usually when when i'm looking at pre-market i look at a one minute chart i never really look at the one minute chart other than in pre-market um and maybe the very beginning of the day because things move so fast other than that my lowest chart is basically a five minute chart uh, when I look for nice smooth movements over the course of the day but one minute I definitely look at in the pre-market and you could see how it helped me when I go back and show you where I got in so um, it was moving a lot in the pre-market it was it was you know by seven o'clock it had already kind of gapped up enough and it started to um, kind of reject VWAP got above VWAP and it came all the way down so it was it was as high as uh, about two dollars and 20 cents up there and then it went all the way back down to about a dollar so it fell fell over a dollar but then i watched it start to as we got closer to the open start to um regain uh regain the dollar and then this little cross of the eight in the uh 20 sma which i use basically on any timeline i like it on any but mostly the five minute uh, but you can see it works here on the one minute um and so i got in here because it looked like it was going to hold this level a little bit and uh, I figured I had a couple things working for me here. It was above a dollar, right? Which is a pretty significant number. Uh, if it was going to fail, it was going to fail. It was going to go below a dollar and then probably just fail the rest of the day or, or just fail to get back above a dollar. So I got in at 114 and I put my stop basically at like 0.97. So just below a dollar. If it, if it started to lose a dollar, I was going to get out. So not a huge. Um, uh, buffer, but um, about 17 cents. Got in, and then I wanted—I just wanted that quick pop at the at the open, and I got it. You can see here a uh, little indecision joji right at 9:30, and then I got a nice big pop up 125, and I held on. I put actually put a trailing stop in on it at this point, so that I, if it had a quick move down, I would at least get out and not get too too hurt. But then I had two big green bars, one here, one here, and it got all the way up to 138, and then one. 40 uh, and I got out at 137 so I got in at 114 got out at 37 for a nice 23 cent gain um, and then you can see a big red bar right after and I, w one of the reasons why I got out when I did was you could see that VWAP was right up here and it had already rejected it at one point so I didn't want to wait too long uh, my actual first target based on my, my stop uh, for a two to one uh, reward to risk ratio was I think it was um, 48 I wanted it to get to 48, but that was right near VWAP. So that's why I took out all my shares at uh, 137 just to just to play it safe. It, it came back down, started getting a little a little messy here, made its way back up a little bit. Uh, so even if I held on and didn't take out all my shares, I could have gotten the rest out around here. Um, but I, I took them all out here, so it didn't matter. And then it's it just it just didn't seem to have enough juice to get back up to VWAP. And then you can see it kind of failed the rest of the day. Um, and it actually dropped below a dollar. You can see it got as low as like 91 cents here. So uh, it's good I took the shares out when I did. And in the first, it actually took less than six minutes. I got in at 9.27 in five seconds, and I got it out at exactly 9.33. So less than six minutes um, for a 23 cent jump. And that was it. That was all I needed for today. That was iBio. Uh, I'll, I'm still looking, scanning for any nice, uh, uh, easy trades. But but basically, that was that was the move that made it. Um, so, so I'm basically for pre-market. I'm very selective. It has to have a lot of volume. 
Um, it has to be moving pretty tightly on a one minute chart. You can see these candles are obeying this 8 EMA really nicely. So that's why when it broke it above there, I, I got in when I did. Um, I would have loved to take this short, but uh, that would have been kind of hard to come by. I wouldn't have known where to put my stop. I mean, at 194, I guess I could have put it above two. You could have ridden that all the way down to to a dollar. I mean, that that would have been nice. But um, but yeah, that was it. Just this nice little this nice little pop right there. That's all all I needed. Uh, and that's what day trading can do. So um, so that's it. So I'm basically still looking at my scans for today. See what else is up. I know sealed air uh, has been has been moving, and it's kind of regaining. It dropped on the day, and now it's back up. But iBio was, was all I really, really needed. Uh, you can see on the on my five-minute chart that I kind of got this this first five-minute candle. I basically took advantage of this entire jump. Got in before this candle at the pre-market and rode it all the way to the top and got out. Um, so if you could find these in the pre-market, you'll be golden for um, for the day. So that's it. Uh, it's Tuesday, so I'll be back tomorrow hopefully with some more trades. Good luck.